strong teams are more about the ones that are, this sounds weird, but it's almost more about the ones that are in the loser's bracket, I feel like, where it's like, oh, will, will like Hokago go forward or Merlin's midfielders, but these guys still have two losses in their belts and they've got a long potential, you know, for, for the playoffs, obviously being in the winner's bracket, right? Fathers all sat down and wrote a list of principles that's definitely going to be a, a calmer set of matches ahead now that not everything's on the line they got second chance yeah, that is very true uh, but obviously both teams want to win it let's see what they bring to the table just like all those payday, payday three updates they're all on the table none of them are going to come okay Get that meme post. <laughs> RA, whoa, RA. Come, I understand that. But, oh. Impressive. Up the center field and RA playing off the back shoulders of the mean cult defenders. Ooh. Wow, that was a Rifle. long shot. I should have reacted more to it, but I, I kind of, for some reason, my like. Ultra Instinct was like, I did not think that, that ball was very on. I'm curious to see the replay, how close this actually was. Whoa, that is close for comfort, but. Now down to the meme cult. Now, just like we take the time to appreciate good color schemes between the teams, this is not so good. Yeah, it's. I thought it'd be better. Uh, selecting their uniforms. Whoa, this is fast forward to Umpi. Umpi's turn and he's trying to get it around. Cromro helps him out. Yeah, it's a little tough to distinguish the teams. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's certainly like for old man eyes like mine. Need more contrast. Cromro is wide oh. left. That one seemed better. My ultra instinct, but it does suck. That shot on our side of the board. Yeah, it's because of the, the angle there. So back to RA. I wish I could, it'd be awesome if I could swap uniforms mid-game, that'd be gamer mode, but I can't. Yeah. That's okay. The weighted pass center for Lafayette. Who's gonna try to dribble it in? Rivera up to Washington, and Lafayette oh. is just Ooh. saved by the coldest. What a save! And a high one at that. Worthy of a replay. Is this... Yeah, I mean, that looks like it's going in if he doesn't save it there, so well played on his part. Kaz with a short name there. The selected player for the defense. To the center, he is there to defend it. Back out. Adams. R.A. finding plenty of space. I did, Nighthawk. Shut up. All right, Umphi. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm so, you know, I'm sorry, Nighthawk. All right, here's a cross. Rapid. Pro brings it in. Oh, Abmeo just basically gives it right back. It's a bad pass. Washington and Rivera. So far has been very 50-50. MC gets it back again. Aided pass over the top. We cannot control that. Very interesting how once RA took the ball, the entire field seemed to spread out. Quick on the trigger. Hunt defended. TMC gets it back. TMC can move it pretty rapidly up the middle, but some time. Oh, Pete's really playing the dribble game. He's in danger. Finally gets it out. RA plays aggressive and close, and now right now TMC's having trouble finding space. Waste of time isn't too bad, probably tiring out the defense. 
However, Adams <laughs> able to get the interception. Ab Mayo then gets the interception right back. Or disjointed ball at least. Oh, Pete? I don't know, what that, I don't know who it was intended for, but let's get there. Classic footy right now. <laughs> There's some interesting parts. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, Lafayette can't give him the room. He almost dribbled back in. Rivera back to Lafayette. Oh. He's so close, and he's just defended. As it goes out for Cromro. Team Colts finding room this time. They're getting ahead of the defense, but Adams, the other Adams this time, with an interception. Late tackle there. Thomas oh. Adams has space. Thomas Adams is defended Shot. by Lafayette's there! Yeah. Oh. All right, well, start of the bloodshed is there. Free timeout called by TMC. Doesn't stop play and back into the action. TMC now looking to respond to that net shot. Well played by RA. Ball by Pope. He, he is defended. Broken up. Now forward for RA. Seemed to be able to find so much space. Heading towards the penalty box. Good sliding block there. Adams cross inside. Header is erratic. Back down for TMC. They're just not having a good time getting through this defensive line. Very aggressive RA defenders. Weighted pass over the top, Cromro. Back to Bad Boss. And weighted pass for Umfi. One is over the top. And Abbeo, good play oh. on the ball. But still no space. No attacks available. Up the outside. Cross in and defend it. He's going to get it again. Unless Cromro, okay, Cromro almost cheeses that one off of him, but let's turn it around again. Deep hunt conducted by RA, goes right back to TMC. Find room. That pass goes nowhere. Horatio gets it out. And time for halftime. One to zero. RA beats it. Continues. MC start with the ball, and they are having trouble. Zero shots on goal. 
Especially for a team so dominant. Cromro able to intercept forward. Maybe this is their chance. If they can somehow get it back to Cromro, but so many RA defenders in the area. Miku Waters having too much trouble. Oh, they give a free kick. I was going to say, what's going on there? And then they just give it right back immediately. That's pretty sloppy. That Mayo able to tackle it off from the back. Up for Miku Water. Cross inside to Umpi, and the header is just not a close call. Hold on, you're very quiet. I gotta hear what you're saying. Just say toast. I said, I wonder if the TMC precogs predicted that they'd have such a hard time in this game. Very true. Aggressive ball to George Washington. And this is dangerous. RA already leading. Where is that ball going, though? They actually call offsides on him. That's pretty funny. Over the top. MC. Pass over the middle, almost gets back to TMC. Closing in on the ball, but it's there to get possession back. And RA have had little trouble. Well, they, they do have trouble there. Their offensive game has been pretty unopposed. Hope Geet just gets it out, but oh, it's a foot race. Patrick Henry wins it. Water certainly not playing up the standard. Trouble for TMC as we hit the 57 minute mark. Time continues to tick. Deep pass by RA, goes right back to TMC. Short one to the middle. RA again defends. Top, Mayo. Header went a little awry. Brings it back in. Back down. TMC's had a lot of possession in the second half, but nothing has gotten to the penalty box. All right, just gets it off him every time. Timeout is called by TMC. Their first of two. In. Uh, Mayo gets an aggressive. Oh, never mind. Good interception is what I thought, or a good tackle rather, but uh, just a little too aggressive. Called by the refs. Pass over the center, intercepted by TMC. Pass does not look good. However, pass goes right back to TMC, and they slop it away. It's too fast. Slow down a bit. Cross to the other wing. And RA looking to score. Breaking shot, but not able to do it there. From the from the corner, Thomas Adams. Crossing in, Lafayette is in! <laughs> Thank you.
And a free timeout is called by the meme cult. So TMC takes it again, but uh, not going great for them so far. Crispus Attics, what is this offsides? Oh no, it's a call on RA. The call here, Amika Water, it's the hit afterwards. Kind of pushes them out of position, I guess. Not going well for TMC. Made it past the center, goes right back to RA. I swear, every the, some free kicks are just you just can immediately call them. <laughs> it's like, if it's a free kick from that spot, they're fucked. Oh, Oomphy's got a chance, but wow, Patrick Henry just, like, physically gets in the way, basically. The dolphin dives on that. Yeah, like, literally dolphin dives in front of it, and that saves the strike. But just 14 minutes to go, and TMC is not doing so hot. I don't think they have... I, I think they might have one... If that header earlier is considered a strike on goal... And that's certainly there, but everything else is, uh, I don't think they've Sam had a single Adams strike. Sitting by the booth. Probably shared a beer with some of the, oh. Here's a call. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Trying to get through, oh, there was a yellow card. Did not see that. Up and over the top. Samuel Adams, Adams, and that one's in. Oh, good boy. This one just feels done. I, my energy is is out. I, the meme cult has not shown any uh, ability to, to get a goal. So, Let's see if they can uh, turn it around in nine minutes. I'm going to say no. Center, okay, yeah, trying on it. Oh, we'll just, it's on top of it. RA will be advancing here if they win. They can hold on to their win. He tries to cross that one, but uh, no dice. Cross from Washington, MF Doom plays the D. Well played, Toast. What? MF Doom Joe. Oh. Yeah, that's me. It's him. All right, cross inside. I love this bird. Picks it up. And forward it goes. Oomphy able to get space. Oh. Okay, here comes Oomphy. And. Turn it back. All right. Oh! Too far. Well, interesting. That's definitely. Good play uh, by the keeper. I'm sure Basbo will look back on that fondly. Oh, and here's the sliding move on that player. Another yellow card out. Lafayette is yellow carded. So MF Doom going to send it short. Weighted pass over the top. Two minutes to go, and I am confident saying there is not enough time anymore for TMC. Maybe if they scored eight minutes ago, this would be a different game, but they cross is off point there. Back down, and plus three is given. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it is based on the stoppages, but I don't, I don't think this is going to save TMC either way. Offside. So R 
R.A. wins it. It will move forward for the, what might be the championship game of the winner's bracket, isn't that correct? Yeah, there's only one game left. The championship game is R.A.'s to strike at. They'll be the home team. And Meme Cult will move to the loser's bracket. Three to zero. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty. To ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. In 1787, I'm told, our founding fathers all sat down and wrote a list of principles that's known the world around. The USA was just starting out a whole brand new country. And so our people spelled it out. They wanted a land of liberty. And the preamble goes like this. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. In 1787, I'm told our founding fathers all sat down and wrote a list of principles that's known the world around. The USA was just starting out a whole brand new country. And so our people spelled it out. They wanted a land of liberty. And the preamble goes like this. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Provide for 